Hello there, Simon Hengel from Tora Cookery. Uh, just like to um, do a bit of an update on this cookery I did the other day. Now it's uh, got the service number 1578 and a gentleman called Thomas Rambout, and um, I apologise for my pronunciation that last name is wrong, but he's looked into that service number and it looks like it belonged to a Gurkha by Mansur Pun, um, who's a Maga, who would be a Maga, of the 2nd 11th uh, Gurkha Rifles in World War I. Now, they were raised in 1918, but they saw service in the 3rd Afghan War, in Mesopotamia, and in Palestine. So they saw quite a bit of active service before they were disbanded in, I think it was 1922. So it's, it's uh, really wonderful to potentially have the name of the chap that uh, was wearing this. The trouble is we don't really know whether it was specifically made for the 2nd 11th or it was carried by a Gurkha from another battalion when they joined because the 2nd 11th were made up of Gurkhas in the main, anyway, certainly initially, of Gurkhas from other battalions. So they were sort of like pinch 100 uh, from, say, the 1st, 2nd and send them in as part of the initial draft and maybe some the second, third, and send them in as well. And they would have been carrying their own um, regulation battalion issued cookery. Um, so they wouldn't have been issued new cookery when they joined the new uh, battalion. They'd have been wearing their own. So was this uh, one that was made specifically for the second 11th, or was this one carried by um, one of the other people from the other Gurkha battalions, or rather one of the Gurkhas from the other Gurkha battalions, um, as and when they joined. Anyway, it's quite uh, it's quite an interesting little add-on to the story of this cookery. And many thanks to Thomas for doing the research to find out that potentially this belonged to Mansur Pun of the 2nd 11th Gurkha Rifles. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the update. Take care of yourselves and enjoy your lives. I don't know, just very quickly, um, it's the first time I've come across the service number being stamped on the wooden handle. Um, I think that's quite unique. Even Ross Campbell, who's a top collector, has never come across that before. I certainly haven't come across it before. So I think it's quite unique. Now, we know that the second eight Gurk rifles with their alloy handle cookery, they did have the um, alloy carders and chap max uh, stamped on the service number, but this is the first time I've seen it with the... Uh, a stamp on the wooden handle. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the extra add-on and uh, once again, enjoy your lives and take care of yourselves.